after hyperconjugation concept let us uh, see the significance of hyperconjugation so i'll be speaking the significance or i'll be relating the concept of hyperconjugation to different different concepts let's see so hyperconjugation i can use or speak like in terms of heats of hydration or hi heats of hydrogenation so i'm applying the hyperconjugation thing in heat of hydrogenation heat of hydrogenation right now what is this what is hydrogenation addition of hydrogen right so if i take an example c double bond c i'm going to add hydrogen when i'm adding hydrogen this is h here right single bond carbon hydrogen hydrogen got added to around the double bond now what will happen e kilocalories so what is the thing now lesser the heat of hydrogen lesser is the internal energy when the internal energy is less stability of the system will be more so what does hyperconjugation do it decreases the heat of hydrogen hydrogenation remember that so what did i tell just now let us write that first concept is lesser the heat of hydrogenation this heat lesser the heat of hydrogenation what will happen lesser is the internal energy lesser is the internal energy when the internal energy is less what will happen stability will be more so stability will be more for the system so what does this do hyperconjugation hyperconjugation will it decreases heat of hydration that's why this system will become stable it decreases heat of hydrogenation so hence that is the first application and because of this the system will become stable suppose if i take uh, certain examples i'll show you what it is suppose if i have to take this example see h3 c double bond c h and c h3 what is this this is trans 2 butene now i'm writing cis now cis means on the same side ch3 here ch3 here hydrogen here hydrogen trans 2 butene opposite side cis 2 butene on the same side here the delta h value is delta heat of hydration is 27.6 kilocalories per mole for the cis the delta h value is 28.6 kilocalorie per mole right so uh, which is more uh, stable now whichever energy is uh, this one less right so cis 2 butene is less stable now because uh, the energy for this is less 27.6 here the energy is more 28.6 so according to this what is the thing you can just write cis 2 butene this one cis 2 butene is less stable than trans 2 butene trans 2 butene isn't it that is what is the concept isn't it right so that is uh, how we are going to write uh, in terms of um, heat of uh, hydration so that is what heat uh, that hyperconjugation can be related to heat of hydration in this way right so this is the first application fine now let me take one more example i'm going to apply the concept of hyperconjugation to one more or apply this to which one am i applying i'm applying it to stability of second application stability of carbonium ions i'm applying this concept to this right so what is this greater the number of hydrogen atoms present of on carbon atom like uh, like alpha uh, atoms like alpha carbon that is immediately after unsaturation more is the number of resonating structures possible due to which hyperconjugation due to like uh, resonating structures to hyperconjugation and hence greater the stability let me write whatever i said first of all greater the number of hydrogen atoms okay where present on the carbon atom that is alpha carbon atom alpha to unsaturation 
right hydrogen atom present on in adjacent to that present on the carbon atom which one which carbon atom it should be adjacent to alpha alpha carbon atom where atoms alpha to unsaturation immediately after unsaturation that carbon atom more hydrogens are present then if more hydrogens are present what will happen number of resonating structures why are these occurring due to hyperconjugation due to hyperconjugation will increase because of number of resonating structures stability of carbonium ion also increases this is how you are going to relate the third application of hyperconjugation which i am going to speak is in terms of bond length right fine so hyperconjugation like conjugation resonance also affects bond length how how is it suppose if i take an example i am taking hydrogen here this hydrogen hydrogen ch double bonds h2 the bond length between this carbon and carbon is 1.46 angstroms here the bond length of this is 1.3 353 angstroms shows hyperconjugation then this becomes c h hydrogen will bond because this is going to shift in this direction minus and this becomes h plus right fine so here uh, the bond length the, what is this one if i have to say okay the, uh, the bond length is 1.46 we said okay fine uh, normally if i have to speak about this is 46 isn't it normally if i have to speak in terms of propane propane is 1.54 angstroms why here propane has a partial double bond character and acquired and hence it is little shorter isn't it now because of this hyperconjugation also i'm relating once again propene is has 1.46 compared to propane alkene because of the partial double bond character correct right so i can also relate or apply your uh, uh, applic or give this application of uh, hyperconjugation let me take a paper to the next concept that is dipole moment let us see the fourth application i am going to relate or apply this concept to dipole moment let us write the heading dipole moment right how hyperconjugation causes the development of charges yes so because of this it affects the dipole moment of the molecule how right uh, suppose this is see the bond the dipole moment of this is 2.27 d now this shows hyperconjugation see uh, if i take uh, same aluminum okay one more example extension of this i am taking one more which shows because i need adjacent uh, alpha hydrogen isn't it yes double bond now taken this is alpha hydrogen compared adjacent to the uh, alkyl now this uh, here it's going to show hyperconjugation then the shifts this becomes h plus this is h double bond o minus now the mu value for this is 2.72 d d by h now what is happening here see the mu value this whole thing has cho cho how much is this this is 2.27 now because of hyperconjugation the mu value has become 2.72 so hyperconjugation also affects dipole moment significance that is important thing now suppose if i take the next one next application for so i am applying hyperconjugation to ortho para directing properties of methyl group in toluene right so op directing uh, directing group in toluene is basically due to plus i effect and due to partially due to hyperconjugation also what am i writing right ortho para directing property of methyl group is due to methyl group in what in toluene in toluene 
is due to two things one is plus i effect as well as hyperconjugation let's see this let us take toline now toline is ch3 right so if i have to write toline same thing like this only same thing i am writing let me write in terms bonds c hydrogen hydrogen and h3 now in the first case now i said hyperconjugation isn't it so first this is going to shift here when this shifts here how does this look this becomes double bond first carbon this becomes h plus this is hydrogen this is hydrogen right this bond is here now because both the double and double can't be here isn't it this will shift in this direction double bond c hydrogen hydrogen h plus correct so this bond will shift here this bond will shift here this becomes minus now this is going to shift in this direction this hydrogen this hydrogen this is h plus this becomes minus right so this particular thing of methyl group like in toline or the para directing group both you can explain due to inductive effect as well as hyperconjugation both inductive effect also hyperconjugation also plus i effect as well as hyperconjugation so these are the significance of hyperconjugation now let me come back and meet you with the next topic that is the resonance effect